Are 72 month or 84 month auto loans a bad idea? Guys, this is filled with BLP3 Motors. I don't know how many of you guys are looking for cars right now, used or new, but you're facing questions like this. 72 month to 84 month auto loans basically get monthly payments into a more comfortable spot for us. And today we're gonna to dissect this information to see if that is right for you. Guys, if you're in the market for car parts, make sure to check out autoanything.com and use my promo code BLP310 for a 10% discount here at the store. They have an amazing selection of performance parts, exterior mods, interior mods, and if you're looking at maintenance and repair, they've got a great selection there too. So you guys make sure to visit the store. An increasing number of new car buyers are stretching their car loans out further and further. Just five years ago, the average loan term for a new car purchase was around 60 months. But recently, the New York Fed reported that the average loan term is 68.8 months. That's already two weeks longer than the last year. So long story short, auto loans are being taken out with longer repayment terms. New car loans of 61 to 72 months, referred to as extended term loans, now make up more than 40% of outstanding loans and 33% of longer term loans are in the 73 to 84 month range. So what's behind this trend and what does it mean for new car buyers in the auto industry? Sometimes we run into the situation where we buy more car than we can afford. So the primary reason car buyers take out extended term loans is to make their payments more affordable. As car prices have continued to increase, wages in the U.S. have remained flat. Extended term loans can make new cars more affordable based on consumers' monthly budget. According to Experian, the average amount financed for new cars has reached a record of nearly $31,000. For consumers to continue to buy new cars without blowing out their monthly budget, the option is to extend the loan terms. Car dealers, which are having a more difficult time moving new cars off their lots, are only happy to oblige this, guys. They know that many car buyers are shopping monthly payments versus shopping car prices. Extended term loans allow car buyers to enjoy that new car smell, even though it can cost them hundreds or thousands of dollars in interest over the term of the loan. So if you finance $25,000 for a new car at 4% over a more conventional 48-month term, your monthly payments would be $564 and your total cost would be $27,100. Now, however, if you finance the same amount and the same interest rate over 84 months, your payment would only be $342, but your total cost Cost would be twenty eight thousand seven hundred. Now that may not seem like much of a cost to incur in order to drive off with the latest model, but it doesn't account for the hidden risks of extended term financing. Now here's a blunder, guys. You pay more for the car with an extended term loan simply because of the fact that you are paying over a long period of time. You will pay more in interest costs, but that is only part of the problem because extended term loans are higher risk for the lenders, so they tend to charge higher interest rates for those loans. So while you can find some low interest deals on extended term loans, your credit has to be flawless in order to qualify for them. Now, here's the biggest thing of all, guys. You're going to be upside down on the car loan. So everyone knows what happens to the value of a car once it's driven off the lot. New cars depreciate by as much as 20% in their first year and as much as 60% over five years. If you put down a minimal down payment, you could be upside down in your car for most of its term. This creates several big risks for car owners. If you total your car when you are upside down, you will end up still having to pay off the loan. You could buy gap insurance at the time of your purchase to prevent that from happening, but that will increase your total purchase cost. You could also end up having to pay dealer out of pocket if you want to trade in your car after a few years. The average breakdown point on a new car financed within a 60 month loan is 42 months. When you extend the loan to 72 or 84 months, you also extend your break even period. So if after four years your car is worth $16,000, but you still owe 18 on it, you would have to come up with another $2,000 to trade in your car. Most car dealers will find a way to roll that $2,000 into the new loan, but then you enter a vicious negative equity cycle, which is difficult to recover from. So guys, how do we move forward? After understanding the risks of a 72-month auto loan and an 84-month auto loan term, you should proceed with caution. It's best to avoid extending your loan term unless you can put down a sizable down payment. That would help you address the negative equity issue. Now, ideally, you have to plan to start accelerating your payments to help pay off the loan early, which can save you thousands in interest and costs out of pocket uh, should you want to trade or get out of that car early. Guys, I hope this information was helpful. I don't know what you think about the 72 month or 84 month auto loans. In the comment section below, let me know. Have you had a good experience with these longer extended term loans? And do you think it's a good idea? I just wanted to share some information with you guys today because I'm in the car buying process myself and I'm truthfully considering a 72 month loan. 
So guys, that wraps it up for us today. Our 72 month or 84 month auto loans a bad idea. Let's have this conversation in the comment section below. I wanna know, have you had an experience with an extended term loan? Was it good, was it bad? Do you just think this is a bad idea flat out? Uh, I just wanna hear your stories and I wanna know your thoughts. Uh, the comment section is a great way to put that down. Like this video if you've not already liked this video. I hope you guys didn't skip the ads and I appreciate your time today. I'll see you guys in the comment section. Oh, <laughs>